Hi friends, today we will be discussing view point analysis uh, in today's classes. Uh, as you all are aware that ROE or return on equity is one of the important tools or analysis to assess the performance of the any business. What is ROE? ROE or return on equity is nothing but the total profit earned by a company and for earning a profit how much capital is required from the equity shareholders. So return on equity is nothing but the total profit earned by a company given an amount of equity which is invested in the business and ROE is one of the most important tools or ratios to analyze the business performance of any company. If we do some mathematical jugglers, we can substitute profit by equity by this profit by revenues into revenues by equity in which can be further decomposed into profit by revenues multiply by revenues by assets multiply by assets by equity so we have rearranged the ratio of profit by equity into two parts in the first part we have arranged as profit by revenues into revenues by equity revenues and revenues get cancelled on the numerator and denominator and we have further broken up into profit by revenues into revenues by assets into asset by equity so what is profit by revenue profit by revenue is nothing but the operating efficiency of a business what does it denotes it denotes the profit earned per unit of revenues so it denotes the source of competitive advantage for the company or in other words it shows uh, the superior profitability of a company that given a per unit of revenue how much profit it is earning so higher the profit per unit of sales the better it is or in other words this ratio is the net profit margin of a particular company what is revenue by asset revenue by asset is nothing but it denotes the efficiency of the asset use in other words in a simple word we can say that revenue by asset is nothing but how much revenue we are earning per unit of assets so it signifies how much utilization we are doing of an asset to enhance the revenue so ideally we should maximize the revenues given the asset which is there in the company and the third factor is asset by equity which is nothing but equity multiplier which denotes the asset per unit of my equity contribution so this is nothing but how many times i am leveraging or multiplying my equity to purchase these assets let's study dupont analysis by a way of example suppose there are two firms firm a and firm b firm a have a revenue of 1000 rupees thereby earning a profit of 75 in order to achieve the revenue of 1000 the asset used by the company is 500 rupees and the equity contribution by the shareholders of firm a is 250 now take another firm which is firm b where in the firm b have a revenue of 800 rupees they are also earning a profit of 75 but to achieve 800 rupees of revenue they are utilizing an asset of 1000 rupees and there in the equity contributed by the shareholders is 250 rupees now in this case what is the roe roe for both firm 
E and B is 30%, which is nothing but profit of 75 on on the equity base of E50. But now, what is dew point analysis? Dew point analysis does a decomposition of the ROE, wherein it tries to decompose ROE into these three different things, which is operating efficiency, asset use efficiency, and equity multiplier. So, what is the profit margin of a firm? E? It is seven and a half percent. It is calculated as seventy-five profit on thousand rupees of revenue, and for the firm B, it is seventy-five rupees profit on eight hundred, which comes as nine point four percent. What is the asset turnover? Asset turnover is revenues divided by asset. For firm A, it is two hundred percent, and for firm B, it is eighty percent. And what is leverage? Leverage is total asset of a company divided by the equity capital, and that for firm A is two times, and for firm B, it is four times. You see, the ROE of thirty percent of A is nothing. But a product of profit margin of seven and half percent, asset turn of two hundred percent, and leverage of two. If we multiply seven and half percent into two, into uh, leverage of two and asset turnover of two, we get thirty percent. For firm B, the ROE thirty percent is a product of profit margin of nine point four percent and asset turnover of eighty percent and a leverage of four. So, how do you analyze the company? Given a choice, for you, which company is better in terms of risk reward ratio? If we analyze this, we are seeing that firm B have a suitable or a superior profit margin, wherein they are earning nine point four percent. This is firm B, but. Firm A is utilizing its assets more efficiently, wherein by utilizing only 500 rupees of assets, they are generating a revenue of 1000. While for Firm B, it is very capital intensive. To generate 800 units of revenue, they are requiring 1000 rupees of capital. And also. Firm B is utilizing more of outside capital, which may be in the form of debt, to purchase the asset. So, what we can make out of it? Say, if the company's ROE goes up due to increase in net profit margin or asset turnover, then it is very positive indicator for the company because. The operating profit of a company is better, or in simple way, simple terms, we can say that the company is enjoying higher profit because of either they have a superior products by which they are able to have more profit margin, or they are utilizing their assets at a very they are utilizing their assets very efficiently but remember the equity multiplier of the financial dividend is a double edged sword is a double edged sword wherein it, uh, it can work the both way in terms of good times your profit can multiply with the use of Your profit can multiply with the use of combining uh, debt, but in bad times that can work in uh, uh, the other way. So, if the primary source of enhancement of ROE is equity multiplier, and the company is already appropriately leveraged, then it signifies that the ROE enhancements has happened by making the company more. Risky. In an extreme case, if a company have their profit margin in asset turnover decreased, 
which are both a negative sign for the company but the only reason why roe have increased is because of increase in leverage then in it makes the bet on that company more risky so in summary dew point analysis is nothing but a decomposition of roe where roe is equal to net profit by revenue which is nothing but the net profit margin multiplied by revenue assets which is nothing but asset turnover and into the equity multiplier which is asset by equity